See how one local city has prepared to recover from the recession. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. Last night, Canadian company Avco Structures and Logistics announced their intentions to open a new facility in Pocatello, bringing with it about 150 jobs to start. Now other local communities are looking to get in on that action. Today our Logan McDougal sat down with a couple of Blackfoot leaders to get their take on where they are headed. Logan? Well, Todd, I spoke with Doug Sayer of Premier Technology and Mayor Mike Virtue, and they both say the city is well positioned for economic growth. Now, the mayor in highlighted investments in infrastructure around the city to accommodate growth when it happens, specifically improvements to some roads and expanding water surface while keeping expenses down. The last large business to make its way to Blackfoot was Pre Premier Technology in 2006. The company employs over 300 people from around the area, and Virtue says when businesses of that size show an interest in the city, they are typically willing to work with them to get them into town. Doug Sayer, president of Premier, says one of the reasons they chose to locate in Blackfoot was the people. The quality of the workforce that's in Bingham County and, and in the adjoining cities, Pocatello and Idaho Falls, is the strongest workforce in the Northwest, and in my opinion, it's the strongest workforce in the country. We're not looking to be a Pocatello or an Idaho Falls. We're looking to be a Blackfoot, and we have certain things that are unique to us that we think are available to offer to companies, firms, whatever else that might be interested in coming in our community. Well, Mayor Mike Virtue also says that the city's recovery from the recession will be a gradual but steady process. Todd, back to you. All right, Logan McDougall for reporting for us tonight. Logan, thank you very much.